good morning good afternoon and good evening welcome to the channel make sure you start by hitting the like button and subscribe and with the notification bell on so you know exactly when the videos drop and i will try my best to have them dropped i would say daily daily ish you know day in day out and everything like that you know whenever i drop you're going to get the notifications and stuff make sure you didn't have the notification bell on without further ado for some people as we know it uh urkel steve urkel or jaleel white you know that everybody knows by his government name um has gotten married recently um yeah he got married shout out to him he's very you know he's one of the people i grew up with watching mostly everybody in the 90s had grew up and watched with him but it's been an issue going on and it's been an issue with the black women black women for some reason not that i've seen it i haven't seen it but i've noticed i gotten the note of, i gotten the how i said the picture on ig the post and I think it was from, I think it was from Shade Room. Shade Room or, yeah, I think it was Shade Room. So, in the comment section, I've been hearing, been seeing a whole lot of things about the females have been cracking jokes. It's not even only, it's not even only the females. It's the, it's the guys too. But, more so the females. They kind of like, low-key hating or big hating if you want to depending on what part of the spectrum you're in but yeah i figured that we would just go ahead and cover the um the video that um we got shay i think what's his name he's shay i think it's um duke yeah o'shea duke jackson we're gonna cover him on his video and everything that he just recently dropped so we're gonna cover that and get our get our thoughts and reactions on that you know just go from there i guess it's a long ass intro i know it is but still i had to cover all the bases but without further ado we're gonna jump right into this let's get it interracial dating in the black community can create many unfavorable circumstances especially in conversations it can even get out of hand but online there's always a big debate about it and it differs between black women and black men let me give you yes, an example it does. if you're a black woman and you find a white man you will hear something like sad music girl go ahead on and get your ways out them black men yeah. wasn't checking for you anyway yeah. I've seen that all the time. example of that would have been Serena Williams and Alexis Ohanian, who we yep. know she had, you know, several unsuccessful relationships with Drake and some of the other athletes, and it just didn't go yeah. anywhere. And now she has this guy, and she was applauded for doing so. What about Meghan Markle? She's half black and half yeah. white. And people were literally crying when she got a chance to marry Prince Harry, even pro blacks. People cried tears because she was getting ready to be <laughs> Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. That's very interesting. When it comes to black men, it's always different. Remember Kobe yeah. Bryant? I'm going to tell you. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all this right now on the record. I'm going to get this cleared up because I'm going to end up getting this premium because this D ads are, are killing me. If no, it's giving me ideas for my gaming channel. You know, if you haven't subscribed to my gaming channel, please subscribe to that too. Got, I'm leaving that a little bit on the, leaving that on the ringer a little bit, but I'm coming back to it. I'm just getting this squared away on this channel. So, you know, just bear with me on that channel. Subscribe though, because I'm going to have some stuff coming on that real soon too. All right, let's get rid of this. Got when he married his wife, it was a lot of, back and forth because he didn't marry brandy and yeah. when he passed away there were some not many who were glad that he died because he didn't marry a black woman jamie fox is now i didn't know specifically hold up, hold up i didn't know that now i didn't know that like seriously y'all y'all women out here are doing that y'all doing that to my boy kobe 
I didn't know anything about that. I know some people were grieving over the situation that he died. I didn't know that some of y'all or most of y'all was wishing that he had or glad that he lacked thereof because he was with a so-called white woman. Like, really? That's how y'all really feeling? Bro, this is this is crazy, yo. It's, 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 it's low-key cringe, but it's crazy at the same time. And this is like the stuff that's, this is the norm. This is the norm we go through right now. White women. And Jay Ellis, who was on Insecure, when he married his wife, Nina Senecar, he literally had to lock wow. down the Instagram comment section because so many people were destroying the we're fact doing, that he married yep. a non-black woman. But here's something that's also very interesting. None of these black men have any history of being rude or disrespectful to black women. Nope. They just they chose their own spouse and went about it in a different way. And now we True. have a new victim. <laughs> he said victim. Jaleel White. Rewind! Most of us grew up watching Jaleel White on Family Matters. Yep. He Family was a Matters. legend as a child celebrity. His role was Steve Urkel. He was the kid that lived next door and he really loved Laura, which he never got yep. her unless he transformed himself into Stefan. But as a nerd, he never got a chance to get her. He never there got was a another chance. character nope. on the show that liked him. Her name was Myra. And many people thought that Myra looked better than Laura, but that was just a show. Here's a guy that always wanted someone that was black and could never get her unless he transforms him. himself into a guy that was really cool. But it's interesting. Many black men have that particular story. And Jalil White, he's always dated white women. And now he has found his love of his life, Nicoletta Roll. Now, who is she and what does she do? Well, yeah, I, I don't she's know who she a is. person that has a bachelor's degree from Yale University. She okay. went to Stanford University, has a degree in management, and she's a sports tech executive. So we can't okay. say that he's marrying a scrub. But of course, we nah. don't like the fact that he's marrying a white woman. We've all heard the criticism for people from the black community, such as yeah. Dr. Umar Johnson. I'm going I'm to get into it. I'm going to get oh, into Lord. it. But talk Umar, yes, sir. about the, the black man and the white woman. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Historically, yeah. Here we black go. men were not allowed to marry white women until the Loving versus Virginia United States Supreme Court case in the 60s. Yeah. You could not marry them. So since that case was overturned, 67, 68, right around there, yeah. black men have married out their race more than all other men in America put together. Are you going to tell me it's a pure coincidence that the black man is absolutely in love yeah. with marrying his oppressor's daughter and that that doesn't have anything to do with the psychological residuals of slavery? I'm going to uh -huh. give it to you on the flip side. Go ahead. Do you think it's a lot of the black man saying, I got to go have that white woman? Or some of these white women out here looking at, that's a god right there. I, I want that. Mm -hmm. It's it's threefold. Okay. Number one, it's about okay. a, a black man being an e economic stimulus package to the white woman. Okay. Most black men yeah. marry down in class when they marry these white women. Okay. You can't find a rich white woman who ever married a broke ass black man? Boy, show me one rich white woman who has ever married a broke ass black man. So this ain't about love. This is about agenda. Okay, that's number one. Number two, the black okay. man wants the white woman to provide him with a degree of psychological validation. Only a low self esteem having ass Negro would marry a white female in the first place because you feel that if I can get the white man's woman, then maybe that makes me feel a little bit more equal to the white man. White man. And Officer Brandon Tatum, who is married to a white woman talked about one of the reasons why black men do so question is okay. always posed to me and, and, and people who i believe are not acting in good faith um some of them may be jealous or haters some of them may be brainwashed or confused or even misinformed about interracial dating so people that know me know that my wife is white right and then my my oldest son his mom is white uh, me and her met in college uh, way back in 2010 okay so you were so a white woman before people criticize those fake ads really drive you mad, huh? The game looks so fun in the ads, but when you download it, it's a total. Criticize me, and they criticize other black men. Although, if you look at statistical data, most black people marry black people at like eighty percent. White people marry white people, whatever. whatever. It's just a phenomenon where there's a crossover. 
and people criticize me sometimes, and they 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 especially from black people. They, oh, you okay. a traitor to your race. Black men shouldn't date white women. You just date white women as if it's some fetish or some crazy like that. But let me break it down to you. And I made a video a while back that got millions of views where I spoke about this a long time ago. But okay. I'm going to give another statement about it just very quickly so people can understand. In my opinion, based on my experience and the people that I know, because I know a whole bunch of brothers that have married white women, 99.99% of the time is because of culture. I think people get caught up in their emotions and get caught up in rhetoric and think it's about race. No, it's more so about availability to certain women and culture. 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 Okay. And these are reasons that people can find valid. I'm a pro-black. Again, I understand why people want to do what they do. But with my mentality, you know where I stand. I'm right there with Umar. But what is interesting was the comment sections on the shade room. Yes. They posted this. That's, that's I wanted the one to I saw. hear what people had to say. So let's check it out. This person says, Day music! Urkel got sick of chasing Lord and got him a Lindsay. <laughs> the next person yeah, I saw says, that Just say congratulations and move on, exerting all that negative energy. And it's very interesting because there were so many comments that were negative in this particular thread. Now, we have this person who goes, I pray all the fine ass black women have a happy ass day. Real Negro ish. How are you feeling today, my sister? <laughs> so you see the lady, I'm doing great. I woke up with all my bearings. Hey, black clean, feeling great. Pin this comment. So all the sisters was happy to see that, right? Let's just see who yeah, this know, person right? is and what kind of videos does he make? Only uh -oh. reason some men don't date black women is intimidated by a strong disposition, inability to be manipulated, and don't approach it because you see through BS and game all the way. I'm a black vegetarian, mean I only eat in court, only black women. You bring my same Instagram feel for the body. TikTok, you bring my same now. It's funny how emphasisly black women are naturally beautiful with or without makeup. You see, a face card never declines when it's a black card. I just spoke this at a university, right? And if you want me to speak at your university, just DM me. Also, my chef ass cooks while I speak life. So, if you want me to serve you some bomb food, brunch, dinner, birthday, wedding, event, romantic dinner for two girls, night guys, night trips, if you want me to cook you a sip and cook meal while I speak life to you about encouragement and healing, just DM me. I travel. That's right. Ibrahim Asim. I've talked about him years ago, so okay. give him a round of applause because it appears he still can't stop simping it up. <laughs> so then we have this person. This person makes a great comment, and I'm glad she put it there. Angle uh -oh. music, I don't got one black girlfriend that would date him. Let the man live. Dr. Umar will have to understand. Now I want to stop here. I'm not trying to okay. say every black woman is the same because so many talk like this, but you know, me dealing the black community, I don't really take that serious. But um, yeah, might be true. Some black women might not date him because of you know his style, how he carries himself. He probably doesn't have that. That's what I was gonna get at too. Swag that they like. But hey, this is what women say about black men that are like this, and when they marry somebody else, then they get upset that they marry. Exactly my point. Exactly the point. I ran into that a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. And when I say I ran into it, it's like people that sat around was doing the same thing, being themselves. That, and that's the thing they always say. They always say, be yourself, be yourself, be yourself. It's every day. He's being himself. Oh, well. He don't have no problem being with a black girl. He doesn't. But it don't fit his style. It don't fit his agenda. After a while, it gets kind of a little old. It gets kind of a little tedious a little bit like that. He just don't want to deal with it no more. So he just went, to, you know, to the other race. Now he done got married to the other race. Now y'all want to be all eyes on him, but in a negative light. Like, I'm about like the person's comment section. Let them live, you know. Y'all should have just went on ahead and just, you know. I mean, it's it's like it's damn if you do, if you damn if you don't, you know. It's that kind of situation, really. Cause I mean, he wasn't gonna catch. He wasn't gonna catch a a black dame 
you know, he wasn't going to try and, you know, find that sexy queen or whatever that he was looking for. But instead, he just found something to his agenda that fits his type of style, which is the white woman, which is right here. What we talking about? So I don't know, you know, it just let me it just just let me know down in the comment section. Have you ran into that situation? Some of the black guys have ran into that situation because I ran into that situation like once, but it wasn't to the point that I actually had to go to marrying a white woman or nothing like that. I just try and try again, really. But still, that situation, you have your own style and then they don't want to pick up on the style, or whatever, like that being yourself. I mean, it's it's it hurts at time. It hurts. But you live, and you learn and you just move on, you know somebody else because you don't know nobody who would damn other person goes well he stayed true to his last name <laughs> lol just kidding congrats really nah, you were serious this other person says first good times father now this i am so tired of black men not loving us black women we need love good times father what two okay I can understand that, and as much as I'm not for the whole, you know, going to the white race. Hold up, hold up. Let's 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 run. Let's let's take a look at Saul. I ain't know. I didn't know that. Let's take a look here. Okay, let's take a look at here. Let's take a look here. Let's see good times. Let's see here. Really? Wow. I did not know that. I did not know that. Wow. Wow, I did not know that. But she passed away though. But still, I did not know that. Man, you know something new every time. Whoa. They were forbidden to marry since interracial marriages. The fuck? No, ain't nobody doing that, man. Get the fuck out of here. Damn dumb ass shit. I'm you know what? I ain't going back to this website no more. But yeah, that's crazy. <coughs> wow, didn't even know that. And they're all the other ones in it. Wow. Like, woo. Did not know that. That's a new one for me. That's a new one. These are going to other races to get men or women. And I honestly believe that, you know, outcomes can be the same depending on who you are. We got to be real here. Some black women are not putting themselves in a position to get a good black man. So it no. doesn't happen. So no. then you say, I'm so tired of black men not loving us black women. There are black men that love black women, but yes. do you want to put yourself in a position to be around those kind of men? 
All right. Thank now, you. The other person says she's staying in the gym, hella toned. Then we have here for the comments. Cause exactly why is she there for the comments? Stop the show. She's there for the comments because she knows what people are going to say about this guy. Another person says our black sisters are losing to the white woman because we don't cherish our black men. This person also okay. says at some point we got to look into why black women aren't being chosen by black men of value. It's most definitely something missing within black women that's making them not be value black male choices. I love black women down, but we need to start having that honest conversation. Another person. Message. It's a message. Not saying that, hey, I'm not putting it in a bad way. I'm just saying you need to look at that. You need to look and see where's the disconnect. I always say that every time when I be having conversations with different people, my friends, family members and stuff like that. If it's something that's not locking up, you got to look at where the disconnect is at. Because seriously, something is up. Something is up. Something's going wrong or whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Because something is going on. You got to look into it. Ladies, you got to look into it. Person goes, shocking. Okay, congratulations. This lady, this is what this brother is saying. This lady is in the Spanos family, the ones who own the LA Chargers. She went to Yale and Stanford. I'm not really? mad at Urkel because she has her own money. He knows she's actually in love with him. I want to come back to that and focus on that. This guy tagged okay. Dr. Umar Johnson. Let's go back to the last comment. She went to Yale. She went to Stanford. She has her own money. She's actually in love with him. Here's something that needs to be discussed in black relationships with black men. Okay. You know, sometimes choose white women. If a black man Go is marrying it. somebody like this, what, what he could feel is this is a woman that wants to be in the relationship Hold with up. me and loves me for that reason. That's the real like this. What, what he could feel. Why is she looking like that? Like that picture was caught off. Like she was caught off guard with that picture. But yeah, ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of that's weird. Well, is this is a woman that wants to be in the relationship with me and loves me for that reason. That's the real reason why she's there. And then somebody could easily say, well, what black woman do you know that would have a master's degree that would want to equally contribute to the relationship as a black man? Not saying that you couldn't find it, but I think if you take a poll. You would have many. I'm pretty sure he about to say what I'm about to say. But you can find an educated black woman. You can find it. But then most likely you're not they're not gonna have hold the same standards as the white white girl that we just seen a while ago. They're not gonna hold they're not gonna contribute to the, the relationship like you would think it will be like you think it will be for you like like the whole 50 50 or whatever or just to have a normal relationship in general because it just seems like someone down the line when they get the whole education thing and everything like that it's like it's totally different from if somebody another race does you know he probably gonna say that he probably not but that's pretty much what i would think because that scenario always plays out that way and i don't know why but you always got to try and sit up there and pick the female's brain about why they act the way they act when they get a certain status or something like that but you know who knows you know who knows we'll see any people who will believe that you'd be better off getting a white woman to do that than a black woman and that is actually sad ultimately this is going to get worse not better so many black women are gonna continue to lose in this particular battle, not because they're not beautiful or not because they're not uh, smart, but it's just because the way our community has been disenfranchised. Yeah. Part of it is their own personal viewpoint and conditioning towards black men and you know yep. into marriage. And the second thing is just that there's a lot of opportunities for men once they start doing very well. So you combine both of those things and it's just really kind of hard for African-American women to compete, um, especially as, as black men start doing better. Unless you live in a black city, you see a lot of non-black women a lot. You know, like for me, I went to medical school in Europe. I, you know, I, if, if you're somewhere in Asia, your career is getting better. You have to specifically put yourself in a position to want to be around um, the African-American community. If you have opportunities that true, your talent true, takes you true. out of there, it can be difficult. Um, and most black men will still feel more comfortable with a black woman, but some guys are going to get new experiences and try new things, which will lead to more black men having more options 
available to them. And that's something that we got to um, expect. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shooter Jackson. Back at it again. The episode of the Celebrity Junk. Put your fire. You just heard a bell. We're out. All right. That's the end for that. But, yeah, let me know what y'all feel like in the comment section. Because right now, at this point, I mean... The comment section of that post with him getting married and everything has been lit up with a bunch of haters and everything like that. I mean, shout outs to to Jaleel for getting married and everything like that. I didn't know anything about he was engaged and everything. I read up into it. Been engaged since 2022. Then they finally tied the knot two years later. So big ups to him. Hope he has a nice marriage and all the good stuff. But, yeah, some people don't, you know, I don't know. I'm not even going to go too far deep into it. But, yeah, need to let him live. Let the man live. You know, that's the only thing I can say. Just let the man live. That's the end of this end of this video, this reaction video. So make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're going to have more reaction videos. This was a little bit unorthodox for me, but I'm going to cover more things as new, something new comes up and everything like that. Like the last videos I did, they was like literally trending. So I decided to do those out of nowhere. So, you know, I'm going to do some little random stuff and everything like that. But I know some, some people came here for the same scoop, same stuff and everything like that. But hey, I'll come right back to it. I, it's not going nowhere. I'm coming right back to it. <laughs> but other than that, I'll have y'all. Y'all have a nice day. Good morning, good afternoon. Whichever time zone you're in. Mount this thing. Peace.